As I mentioned on the court, our, our owner is now available for interviews. So you can talk to him. Um, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for Dirk. Uh, I'm so happy for the Mavericks organization, which is such a class organization, um, as are the Miami Heat. Um, a few minutes after the game, Pat Riley came down to congratulate us, and he just showed unbelievable class. So uh, we appreciate that. I know Mr. Harrison a little bit. He's one of the great people, and so uh, we, uh, we hold them in high regard. They were a terrific team, uh, and their time will come, but now it's our time. This is a special team. This is the most special team that I've ever been around because it's not about what you can't do. It's about what you can do. Um, it's not about what your potential shortcomings are. It's what we can, could accomplish as a group together. And it was just, uh, it was just phenomenal to be around them. And I, and I, in my third year, uh, I've learned so much from these guys, especially Jason Kidd. Um, his view of the game is so, is so different, and he's he's savant-like, and he has just been, it's just been a, uh, a thrill and a privilege to to spend time with him. I don't think there's any doubt after this series that Dirk is has has certainly earned the cloud of winning, being one of the all-time great players. I mean, his versatility, how he's done it in the clutch. I mean, he goes one for 12 in the first half, and in the second half, he was just absolute money. And so I'm really thrilled for him. You get to game five, game six, and it, it just it becomes personal. And our guys took it personally tonight. Um, they were not going to be denied. Um, Dirk and Jed have had to live for five years with what happened in 2006, and as of tonight, those demons are officially destroyed. You know, they, they, they have made a, a statement that's a colossal statement, you know, not just about our team, but just about the game in general. And, you know, playing it a certain way, trusting the pass, um, playing collectively, believing in each other. Um, our team's not about individual ability. It's about collective will, collective grit, collective guts. And, you know, we're skilled and talented, too. When you look back on all the adversity you guys overcame during this season, during the playoffs, during this series, what's the one thing you're most proud of? Uh, the, the collective toughness of the group. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a team that when you view it from afar, it doesn't look like a physically bruising type team. And so a lot of people don't, don't think we're, you know, we have the, the grit and the guts and the mental toughness. But this is as mentally tough a team uh, as I've ever been around. And I, you know, I, I had fortunate to play in the 80s with some great Boston teams. Those guys were mentally tough, but they were, you know, there's four Hall of Famers on those teams. What these guys were able to do collectively, you know, guys like, you know, Cardinal, Mahimi, um, you know, Berea. I mean, these guys played major, major roles um, in an elimination game in a, in a championship series. I mean, it, you can't dismiss how everybody stayed ready and, and how everybody answered the bell. So I, I was just really proud to be around this group.